I'm finding as many cool animals as possible. My primary focus in this video is to find new species of amphibians I haven't found this year. The only rule is that these animals have to be living in this swamp. It might take days, I'm not sure, but I do know that finding these animals will be challenging. I'm thinking that because of the recent rainfall, amphibians will surface to breed. The first animals I found are these wood frogs. Wood frogs are medium-sized frogs that tend to blend into the leaves. My first approach to finding other cool animals is to use a common strategy you might have seen online. Using this dip net, I can pull out a huge chunk of leaves from the swamp and then see what's hiding inside. And it's safe to say it worked because I was able to find multiple larvae which I think are either the youth form of dragonflies or damselflies. Of course, I had to get my feet wet, so I returned the next day to find more animals. The first animals I saw this day were these cool white-tailed deer that seemed to be living in the swamp. Luckily, they didn't seem to mind me. Next, I was able to find my first frog after coming to the swamp. This is a northern green frog, a very common species, but I haven't really been able to find it at all this year, so I was quite glad. So the next approach was for me to flip some logs. The first log I flipped was actually home to this beautiful four-toed salamander, a new amphibian species to the channel. I quite liked the golden legs, which gave them a different pattern not seen in a lot of salamanders. They generally eat springtails, worms, and spiders. Very cool. But soon after flipping a few different logs and rocks, things were already starting to slow down, so I decided to try a different approach. The idea was to explore more of the creek and what's inside, hopefully which will result in more amphibians, so through walking. This required some balance. Definitely not like that. My focus was targeted on a different species of frog, the spring peeper. These tiny chorus frogs make a high-pitched squeak that you can hear from a distance. But since these frogs are so small, I was having trouble getting a look at some of them. Fortunately, I was able to find a spring peeper sitting up close to the same mossy patch I was standing on. But before that, it required a lot of patience and effort to really locate any of these spring peepers. These frogs come in all sorts of different grays and browns, and this one was more reddish brown. After some failed attempts, I was finally able to bring it close to the camera. <laughs> And of course, my shoes were wet again. Subscribe.